Hi everyone. I hope you're all having a great week. We just got a few inches of snow, so we're taking advantage of it while we can. Okay. <laughs> this week I'm working on an abstract watercolor using your graphic art. To start the process of building my background, I am applying some water using a mop brush and then I'm slowly going to start adding some color. It's actually funny that I would use the word slowly because this part of the process is actually pretty fast. So I know the colors I want to use. I'm working intuitively and I'm just kind of going with the flow and deciding where to apply my colors and how to apply them as I go along. I love working intuitively in this way because the water as it mixes with my paint will create different shapes and patterns and this will help guide me in my decision making as I keep going. Since I'm working wet on wet, the colors laid next to each other will bleed into each other. The color I'm applying now, Nickel Azel Yellow, is one of my favorite colors. It's really bold and bright and creates a nice contrast against the other colors I've applied so far. Because it's so bright, I'm only going to use a light wash of it in my painting. Now I'll let this dry before adding a second layer of color. As you can see, the first layer dried pretty light, so now I'm going to add a little bit more of that alicerin crimson and the neutral tint to intensify those colors. To do this, I use less water in my paint so that they are more pigmented. I'm not trying to create a specific design, but I am following some of the lines I created earlier. Now I'll intensify the neutral tint as well. I like the overall design, but it looks a little too rigid, so I'm going to use some spritzes of water to move the paint around and loosen things up. It can be a bit scary to do this, so I'm trusting my intuition and I'm letting go of the need to control the outcome. Soon I'll be stopping to let this dry, but before I do so, I'm going to put a little bit more pigment in certain areas of my painting to intensify their colors. I really love the patterns and shapes that my paint and water mixed together created. Now that it's fully dry, I can use my markers to start creating my neurographic lines. Observing the lines and shapes that I see in my background, I'm moving my marker around and trying to keep the lines as continuous as possible, but also letting my intuition guide me as I'm working through the process. Water and paint created a lot of really interesting shapes for me to use as I'm working through this process of drawing in these lines. I'm picking out shapes that I see and I'm drawing little circles around them. Now my intuition is telling me to start creating some more deliberate little circles and as I'm going along, I'm rounding off corners as we do in neurographic art. It's a very meditative and mindful activity to do and I find myself relaxing more and more as I go along. 
Let's have a closer look at what I'm doing. Sometimes when I'm working over watercolors, my markers tend to clog up on me, so I decided to switch and start using this pen instead. I'm really happy with the lines and shapes that I've created, but I think my painting needs a little bit more highlights. So I'm pulling out my white pens and I'm going to start adding some doodles to create more contrast in my painting by using white. When I'm working intuitively, I always try to keep it as simple as possible. So all I'm doing here is adding some simple lines and dots. To continue creating contrast, I've decided to paint in some of the little black circles using my white pen. Still working with my white pen, I'm going to create a little wave of white dots flowing through my painting. I'm really satisfied with the contrast I've been able to create with my white pen. Now I'm going to use a fine tip black pen to start adding a few more different little patterns, but not in a very um, dark obvious way. They're just going to be light little patterns that you almost have to be up close to the painting to see. Here I've changed tools, but still working in black, I'm going to add some stippling to the painting. I'm nearing the end of my process, so now it's time for me to pull out some gold and add a little bit more shimmer and visual interest to my painting. Using the same brush and some more diluted paint, I'll add some splatters to my painting as well with that same gold paint. Here's a little close-up view of the details I've created in this painting. I really like it, but I feel like I need a stronger focal point, so I'm going to make one final change. And here it is, fully completed. I really had fun creating this piece, and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you again for joining me on this journey. I hope you have a wonderful week and happy creating!